Yeah. Take your mums. These ones come together really quickly. The um, it's going to be a fast boat. It's racing red. So it's going to it's going to be the quickest boat on the, on the water. It's going to be the fastest yeah. boat. Yeah. It's going to be. You see, the you got to trim. See, you got to trim for you. So you put all the lead in and get it right like how you want it before you. Yeah. Once you get it set properly, then you're fooling up no more. Yeah. Mr. Hartley, who's going to take? Yeah. Can you tell us um, how did this collaboration happen between you and Mark Knowles with this boat? Well, the UK has been trying to work with uh, sailing in the Bahamas ever since it was a national sport. We've been donating, uh, we've been sponsoring kids to learn to sail, and now today we are gifting a boat. We were talking to friends about who makes the fastest boats in the Bahamas, and uh, you guys got the right man. We hope so. <laughs> the, um, so we're going to be revealing the name at six o'clock today. It's going to be we're going to announce it live on stage as a gift to the Bahamas, a gift to the young people of the Bahamas. Yeah, and we, okay, and we really hope we really hope it will help as many people learn to sail as possible. Very nice. And uh, we hope it's going to be a uh, yeah, great part of the new National Sailing Academy. Yeah. And uh, we hope that Mark does well as the boat builder and he gets a bit more work out of it as well. We, it's a great thing about this is it's supporting skilled jobs, rare, you know, rare skilled jobs, where people like, like Mark is, well, how many people like you in the Bahamas can build boats like this? And I have only about um, probably eight left. Eight. Probably and these, ten, eight, ten, probably a dozen. And these people it's are- me, my brother Don, Buzzy, um, Smith boy from Short Mara, then Cheyenne from Barry Tire, but he old now. And then Lloyd, then from Andrews. Yeah. And you know, but in Abu building on now, and then the boy in Freeport, but he managed trying his hand, that's about it. Yeah. So we've got to be able to support these guys until the next generation comes through, and you can train them up, hand them on. They'll come up with new ideas and new designs, and but this still this boat will still beat them, I reckon. That'll be. <laughs> also, Mr. Hartley, your son is also racing today. Yeah. Mr. Derwitt. Uh, and yesterday, you must be proud. Uh, absolutely. So he um he's a. Yeah, he's an international sailor, he sails in Optis. And uh, yesterday he went out for the first time in an E-Class sloop. He went out in um, uh, Judgment D, Lloyd Sands boat, and he's gonna be sailing that next couple of days. And what I've loved about this regatta is it's bringing together all the kids from sloop sailing and all the kids from international sailing. They're all just having a go. And this is, this is the dream of sailing as a national sport right now, of allowing these kids to learn from each other, to cross-pollinate, to mix, to get time on the water. And my son's been really well, as a, as a, as a, as a foreigner, has been really welcome to come and uh, learn to sail. And um, yeah, as a, as a father, I'm really proud. Must be. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right.